Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Thursday, December 31st. On this last day of 2020, the Church continues to have us read from the first letter of St. John. Today's selection for Mass comes to us from the second chapter of this letter. It reads, Children, it is the last hour, and just as you heard that the Antichrist was coming, so now many Antichrists have appeared. Thus we know this is the last hour. They went out from us, but they were not really of our number. If they had been, they would have remained with us. Their desertion shows that none of them was of our number. But you have the anointing that comes from the Holy One, and you have all the knowledge. I write to you not because you do not know the truth, but because you do, and because every lie is alien to the truth. As St. John mentions in today's selection, we are currently living in the last hour, or the time between Christ's death and resurrection and the time when he will return at the end times. And given our knowledge of creation, the last 2,000 years is truly a short amount of time in comparison to the rest of creation. Therefore, during this time, this last hour, There will be faithful disciples of Jesus Christ, but there will also continue to be individuals and groups who oppose the teachings of Jesus Christ for many reasons. And I've discussed the title of Antichrist before in A Day of the Reflection. This title is actually only used in 1st and 2nd John, but there has been thousands of people who have speculated over the history of the church about the role of the Antichrist and the various other Antichrists who have acted throughout the history of the church. And I know for some people this title even invokes fear in their hearts because of the negative effects that flow from someone being opposed to Jesus Christ. But I guess I want to remind us today that we do not have to fear anything. Jesus Christ has won the victory over sin and death. Therefore, we, as long as we cling to Jesus Christ and the celebration of the sacraments in our personal prayer, participate in this victory. And the knowledge of salvation, the knowledge of love, the knowledge of grace that comes from Jesus Christ, hopefully will drive away all fear, even fear of those who oppose Jesus Christ. And who stand in the way of the gospel. And I think this is an important meditation as we finish up 2020. Because given everything that's happened over the last nine months especially. We may feel as if there's many things opposing Jesus Christ. Opposing the church. Opposing what we believe to be true and good. But again, we remember that Jesus has conquered overwhelmingly. That by his death and resurrection, all is caught up into victory. And we, for our part, just must maintain faith, hope, and love so that we can participate in this victorious reign of Christ that has begun, has begun already in the building of the kingdom of God, but will not be fully established until he returns at the end of time. So as we wait, as we hope, we just need to again remember that we are victorious in Jesus Christ. There is nothing to fear and we can just truly marvel and relax and be hopeful in all the graces that Christ has won for us. And yes, 2021 will have its own fair share of challenges. So maybe one of the New Year's resolutions we should all adopt is how can we truly live in this victory of Christ? How can we let our faith take a more active role so that we can live with the freedom of the children of God? With the knowledge that we don't have to be scared anymore because we live in the light of Christ 
the hope of him who died for us. So I hope and pray that you have a blessed evening. Happy New Year, everyone. And may Christ truly be a source of grace and peace in this new year. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Thank you.